Okay, we're going to go through how to lay out a breakout section with Inventor. First thing you have to do is you've got to go ahead and grab your part that you're going to lay out. So the breakout section part that we're going to find here is going to be the section part that we've already drawn. I'm going to bring this in. This is going to be the what would be called my front view. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place my right side view and I'm going to go ahead and place my left view. Once they're placed, and go ahead and hit OK. Parts laid out. In order to make the section view itself, so we're going to have this particular break view, we need to create a sketch on what would be this front view, and then we need to go ahead and draw the profile that we're going to use to create this break view. We'll have to make a closed loop profile, and then we're going to use the breakout tool in order to select the profile and then give it a particular depth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the part that I'm working on. I'm going to select the view. I'm going to then select Start Sketch. Now I just need to go ahead and sketch on to the particular view the profile that I want to use as my break profile. I'm going to go ahead and create a very rough looking break so that you can tell that this is not a part of the drawing, that this is actually the break line. And then I'm just going to move around the part so that I have a closed loop in a sketch. Once I have that closed loop all taken care of, I can go and hit finish sketch. Once I have that closed loop and I finish the sketch, I'm going to come up and grab the breakout tool. Once I grab the breakout tool, I'm going to come and select the view that I'm working on. Once the view is selected, it will select the only closed loop, or if you have two closed loops, you'll need to tell it which one, but the only closed loop Next thing I need to do is tell it how far into the part we're going to go. So I have to select the depth tool. At this point, I'm going to pull down from point because I'm not going to give it a from distance. I'm going to actually tell it to go to the hole that we're going to use for our center. So I'm going to mouse over the hidden line for the hole and then select it. Once I do that, it now knows it's going to go all the way to that hole. I hit OK. Now you can see I'm going in to that hole.